Donald Trump yesterday, speaking of Ron DeSantis, said the campaign for Governor DeSantis is in, quote, total disarray. Trump made the comments on social media, writing in part, quote, Ron DeSanctimonious is getting absolutely demolished. No crowds, no enthusiasm, no interest. He's hurting himself very badly for 2028, wrote Donald Trump. Meanwhile, Governor DeSantis is defending a controversial and frankly bizarre campaign video that attacks former President Donald Trump's views on LGBTQ rights. The video features past tweets and comments by Trump and the recent legislation DeSantis has signed in the state of Florida. I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens. If Caitlyn Jenner were to walk into Trump Tower and want to use the bathroom, you would be fine with her using any bathroom she chooses. That is correct. In the future, can transgender women compete in this universe? Yes. Make America great again. Uh, Donny Deutsch, ad, yeah. ad yeah. man extraordinaire. Yeah. What am I? What am I looking at ad there? Ad man extraordinaire is, is stumped. Okay, I've been doing this for a long time. What, 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 what are we doing here? What are we doing here? And the answer is, well, uh, uh, first of all, he's. DeSantis is flailing, and he's trying to continually move to the right of Trump. But this LGBTQ thing is just. Are you? Who, do you think this is moving voters? Are you? And to pay Trump as a patron of this group is, you know. As an ad guy, there's one thing I learned over the years is people aren't stupid, okay? You, you just, and I don't know the voter that's going to see that and go, you know what, Trump, I'm going. DeSantis, you're my guy. And it just, it, DeSantis is such a dark, dark, dark character. I've talked a lot about it on the show, how uh, at the end of the day, a candidate, Trump, even though, you know, we eviscerate him, and there is a likability if you're a Trump guy about him. He's entertaining. He's a lounge act. He's this and that. This guy is just... The, Dark, the prince of darkness, and that is one of the darkest, most bizarre, twisted, deviant ads I've ever seen. Well, he was defending it yesterday. Bipartisan backlash to the video, by the way. Many people calling it homophobic. Governor DeSantis standing by the ad, calling it fair game. I think, you know, identifying uh, Donald Trump as really being a pioneer in injecting gender ideology into the mainstream where he was having men compete against women in his beauty pageants. I think that's totally fair game because he's now campaigning saying the opposite, that he doesn't think that you should have uh, men competing in women's things like athletics. And so we've been very clear on it that uh, we believe in protecting the rights of our girls and the rights of women athletes to be able to participate with fairness and with integrity in response to those remarks, Trump campaign spokesperson said, quote, a desperate DeSanctus campaign with a flailing candidate is in its last throes of relevancy. Mara, it's been said many times in the last several months of Governor DeSantis that he's just playing very, very small ball and that he's picking on these issues. He's trying to win a national election right now, and he's going after regressive things that, and, and leaning into his anti-woke agenda. I'm sure that works with a small group of, of supporters and a lot of people in this country it may resonate with, but you're trying to broaden the coalition. You're not just supposed to preach to the <laughs> choir to win a national election. I mean, it's like he went to finishing school at the Heritage Foundation or something. I mean, I don't know who he thinks this is resonating with. It's not. I also just have to say, in the ad itself, a couple people have said this, it is kind of homoerotic. I mean, there's something about the ad that's a little bit, you know, odd to begin with. And then, of course, broadening that out, though, it is, I really feel strongly that, you know, men who are secure in their own masculinity don't feel the need to shout about it from the rooftops everywhere they go and denigrate others. Um, it's small-minded. It makes him look small. And uh, it's, it's embarrassing. So, I mean, sometimes when you see open hate like that, the best thing that you can do is condemn it, but also, uh, you know, knock it down a few pegs. And this is just really silly. I mean, I can't imagine what Americans are going to see this and have this change their mind. It might motivate Democratic voters to start paying attention. And I think if that's what he succeeded in, 
uh, that may be what we're looking at. I'm smiling because I remember what a gay friend of mine saying, was that an anti-gay ad? I saw a lot of Brad Pitt looking hot and yeah. shirtless dudes. There was a gladiator? Flexing. Yeah, there was a gladiator. I know, he was, was great. Was I still, Donnie, if Donnie doesn't get it, nobody gets it in, in an ad. Um,